Can you finish it? Whoa. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Oh. Uh, there's burlesque. Yeah. That's why you book us here. No. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I had no idea that. I mean. Tomorrow. Just happens to be tomorrow and, and, and Saturday. I. I, uh, I didn't know. Relax. I really. Burlesque. <laughs> I really didn't know. Hello, everybody. As you can see, we've made our way to the Sunshine Coast. We're kind of making a mad dash to Cliff Gilker Falls. Cliff Gilker, well, we're in Cliff Gilker Park. There's trails that go all over. We don't know where we're going, so we thought, why well, waste the evening? We might as well go in and follow the creek. Do the loop, see if we can find the falls. Nobody else here tonight, and it's supposed to be it's a long weekend, so it's gonna be a madhouse. So let's see if we can find the, the waterfall tonight. Worst case, I guess if we don't get a shot tonight, we can uh, get it tomorrow. But at least know where we are. But by the looks of it, there's one right here. Nice spot. Looks like that might be the falls. Hard to tell. I'll uh, flip the camera around so you can see it. Okay, so there's what I think is the top of the falls. We'll um, make our way down. I could be wrong. This might not be the top of the falls, but it kind of looks like it. So we'll make our way down to this first little spot here. It says trail closed. That's uh, for construction. We'll use the uh, secondary bypass trail. I can see why it says it's closed for construction. Because, uh, yeah. The bridge washed out. <laughs> well. Okay. Interesting. This wasn't the falls I was thinking it was. Ugh. Sorry, I had to take a bit of a big step there. But um, it's one of them. Too bad, the uh, must have had a pretty serious washout here. I will, however, see if I can get past this and uh, get some sort of shot of this. Let's see. So this is going to take a bit of an experimenting because I don't know my way around this park. And uh, there's no real map. Oh, here's a little map. Okay, I'm going to go back around and get to the other side of the falls. There's obviously that trail. Ain't making it down from there, so we'll go to the other side. So let's uh, make our way around here. I'll pick it up when I find the trail on the other side. Okay, so we're making our way around here. And uh, the trail just makes its uh, makes a turn down here and goes down to the falls from the other side. I, I could have walked through the river, but not really any need at this point. It's a five minute walk around to the other side, so.
nice spot. I'll set up a shot here and see what I can find. I don't know what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do here, but let's uh, see if we can find a composition. See what it looks like. Okay, so I framed up a shot. I, uh, I'm gonna have to focus stack it because it's pretty dark now. It's already even at f4. It's at uh, two seconds, which is longer than I want. But at f2.8, I can't get. Uh, I'm gonna have to do more than three or four uh, focuses. So I've got it at f4. Um, got this kind of mossy tree in the right hand corner of the screen the uh, pool from the waterfall in the center and the waterfall kind of leads off into the right side of the screen i'm going to do two images one focused on the back wall uh, where the waterfall comes down and then one focused on this tree in front of me and hope everything's in focus it's getting pretty dark so maybe we'll just walk around and not take any more photos for tonight but uh Anyway, if this first shot at uh, Cliff Doker Park turns out any good, um, here it is now. Okay, so now we're headed back up to where we uh, crossed that little bridge from and we're going to head upstream from there because there is another falls and I don't think I'll get a shot of it tonight. It's too dark, but at least we'll know where it is. This whole loop is only two kilometers or something, so, but it is almost nine o'clock. So the light is fading very quickly. Even at F11, I was at uh, a 20 second exposure, which we all know is way too long for a waterfall. I like them around eighth of a second, quarter second, something like that, if I can get them, um, depending on the size of the falls as well. But let's, um, head upstream from here and see if we can find the other falls. I don't know, I haven't been here before, so a bit of an adventure for us too. Let's go uh, see if we can find it. Okay, we've, we actually went back across the river. The one that was on the other side of the river went away from the water, so we're back on the side of the river that we parked on. I don't know. I'm not sure where the falls is. I'm gonna, <sighs> sorry. Oh, spider web. <sighs> ah, hate that. Um, not too sure here. This trail just kind of continues this way, and hmm, ended up back at the baseball field. It shows it keeps going and does a loop, but I. Uh, Looks lighter than it is. The sun's already down. Keep going for a little while. See what we can find. So now, I don't know what to do. It said lower cascade, but we're here and I can't get across again. Because everything's closed. Bridges are closed. So, now I really don't know what to do. I guess we'll head back to the start and see if we can find a map. Okay, we've got some intel that says follow the red trail. So we are now following the red trail. And it says you should come, you should hear the roar of the lower cascades. But the problem is, is everything is blocked off here. Anyway, we'll try it. It's still got light. It's only 7.45. It's light for another hour and 10 minutes or whatever. We're here now, so... Wish us luck. Well, I'll be damned we found it. Took us a while. 
but it is here. So, I've got my flip-flops on, but I am gonna make my way down and see what I can find for composition before the light gets too dark. Okay, sorry, I know this is gonna be really hard to hear me, but again, I forgot the cord from my wireless mic, so I set up a composition. Basically, I put the falls in the corner here, uh, kind of looking down the, um, down the creek. I shot a couple different exposures, uh, one at around F8, with the ISO up a little bit to stop. I didn't want so much motion blur in the water. And then I shot um, a regular uh, F11 exposure at uh, ISO 100 and focused in the back to make sure that the background was uh, bright enough and sharp enough. And I'll just blend them together if I need to. But anyway, uh, I gotta run back because I left something on the bench. Hopefully you can hear me and uh, this shot turns out half decent. Um, here it is now. Okay, so I got one more shot framed up here. I went back and grabbed what I forgot. Don't ask what it was. I like this shot looking back this way too. The girlfriend nabbed it when I was gone. I got it too. It's a really long exposure though, now that it's, uh, it's fairly dark. You can see the sun's gone down. I know it looks fairly light on the screen, but it's like a 10 or 11 second exposure. I don't know how much I'm gonna like it, but I'll take a higher ISO one for the water and then maybe I'll try blending them together. But uh, if either one of them turns out half decent, um, here's this one now. Okay, so that was a bit of a mad dash, but anyway, hopefully one of those shots turned out. We're gonna go back and have dinner. It's 7.30, or no, it's after that now. It's 8, 8.20. I'm hungry. And uh, yeah, I may or may not go out for a Milky Way shot tonight. I'll show you why that bridge was closed, by the way. So here is the bridge we could have crossed over earlier. We were right on the other side of it. And then right at the falls, but we had to go all the way back over and around and over and back down this side. So if you come here, don't go that way. Go to the first falls you come to and just keep staying right and following the stream and you'll run into that falls eventually. So we're making our way out of here. So hopefully this turned out and you might see a Milky Way shot. You might not. I don't know. But that's it for this one. I'll film the Milky Way separately if I go there. So uh, have a good one, everybody, and see you next time. This was uh, an adventure. Take care, everybody.